Hey, how you doing? This is the Halo Grio, and uh, this is a response video to the loudmouth black woman getting uh, punched in the face by the uh, Cleveland bus driver. Um, I watched this video, and honestly, that Cleveland bus driver went sure you can on that girl. I personally think the girl was wrong, and and the bus driver stated it that if she acts like a man, she's gonna get treated like a man. Um, as far as equality goes, um, but there's there's a there's a bigger issue here that I want to touch base on, and it's the fact that within the black race, within the African American community, um, there seem there's I mean there I'm, let's admit it there are there's a great deal of breakdown in family uh, because a lot of times there isn't um, a dual parent role in the uh, nucleus of the black family that affects the uh, and that that gives outcome to the way that young men and women are, uh, act today in uh, the general public society this girl obviously you know she wasn't schooled and trained and taught that as a young woman uh, you act like a lady and you don't put your hands on a grown man it's far too many young ladies out here who consider themselves strong black women and they constitute that as squaring up and putting their, their hands up ready to fight a man, fight a grown man. And then when the repercussions happen where, you know, they get socked up, then it's suddenly about, oh, I'm going to get my boyfriend. I'm going to get my brother. I'm going to get my uncle. I'm going to get my dad. And then that, and you're basically then perpetuating war. You know, what are you doing? You know, stop. My point is this. If this young lady had whatever beef or static that she had, it wasn't worth turning into ratchetness to where this bus driver is basically, you know, just trying to do a job where, you know, driving in a circle on a route all day, you know, for eight hours and making pretty decent pay and so forth. But, you know, it's not the most exciting job. I have a newfound respect, though, for this bus driver. I think that this young lady and her ratchetness really endangered everybody on that bus because... Not only was she distracting him, but then she decided to put hands on him and hit him while he's driving the bus. It didn't appear that the bus was in motion, but still, you know, this is not something that you do. So then why is it then a surprise then that she, after she hits him, and then she calls him on and provokes him and says, Come on, nigga, wanting to, to throw hands with this guy. Are you out of your mind? And this is why she got her meat lump and her jaw swole and the weave knocked out of her head. So... You know, I thought it was real funny then that he threw her off the bus like like she was a Gladlock bag. You know, it was wrong. Um, you know, and it's it's kind of uh, messed up that this guy then turns around and he's probably going to lose his job. You know, I mean, it's on video. They're probably going to have a lawsuit and everything else. But it was a self-defense thing. Who knows, though? Um, but this is just a reaction video. And um, tell me what you think. Who was wrong? Was the bus driver wrong for hitting a woman? And, you know, I mean, as a public uh, worker, you know, going going to blows with uh, a, a rider, or was she wrong for, and for endangering everyone and, and hitting him while he's just basically trying to do his job? Give me your feedback. I'm Halo Grio. Thanks.